In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you four hacks for using Google Ads to increase traffic to your website. If you want to generate leads, increase sales, and drive more people to your site, then you need more people to click on your Google Ads. The following tips will help you achieve more clicks from your Google Ads campaign so you can increase sales and grow your business. Increase your daily budget. One of the most straightforward ways to get more clicks from your Google Ads campaign is to increase your budget. Google Ads works by calculating how often to show your ads based on the delivery method you've chosen. With standard delivery, Google Ads tries to make sure that your ads appear throughout the entire day, so there are periods during the day when your ads won't be displayed. With accelerated deliver, your ads are shown as fast as possible until you reach your budget limit. If you reach your budget limit early in the day, then your ads won't be displayed for the rest of the day, resulting in missed opportunities. If you raise your daily budget, you improve your chance of getting more clicks. Extend the location where your ads are shown. The location setting of your campaign will determine the location of the people who see your ads. Expanding the target geographic area can help to increase the size of the audience that sees your ads. This will immediately increase the number of clicks that you receive from your ad campaign. Add more relevant keywords. When you add more relevant keywords to your Google Ads campaign, Google will be able to match more of your ads to a more substantial number of search queries, which will lead to more clicks. You can either add new keywords to your current ads or create new campaigns to promote additional services or products. Extend the ad schedule. Your ads will only run during the specific period that you set in the ad schedule settings. People won't be able to see your ads and you won't be able to gain any clicks if your ads aren't scheduled to run, check to ensure that you've established settings that schedule your ads to run on the days and times that make sense for your company. If you want to gain more web traffic, then you'll need to optimize your Google Ad campaign. When you are making adjustments, make sure you take the time to monitor the performance of the campaigns so you can make sure you see the results you expect. In this presentation, I'm going to provide you with four ways you can send emails to your customers that they'll love. Research shows that more than 205 billion emails are sent each day, and the average professional will send and receive 122 emails every day, spending more than three hours of their day in their inbox. To give your business the best chance of cutting through the clutter, you need to send emails to your customers that they'll love. Here are four ways that you can send emails that your customers will enjoy and ultimately act on. Segment your users. The most obvious place you can start is segmentation. You don't want to send everyone the same thing. Even the most straightforward segmentation can pull you well ahead of the competition. The next time you send out a promotional newsletter, make sure you have at least two segments, those who've purchased from you before and new customers. You can use simple sections to your offer in each email that you send and ultimately improve your profit with this campaign. Use the information of your customers to the segment when you send out email marketing, and you'll be ahead of your competition. Set up an automated campaign. Automated emails provide you with the power to personalize in a way that you just can't do manually. Sending emails that are based on your customers' specific browsing habits isn't something you'd be able to do by hand, but with email automation, you can trigger an email with content that's related to your customers' experiences on your website. Don't underestimate the power you can gain with automated emails. Simplify your copy. Email is an excellent medium for building your business because it forces you to remain simple. There is no room for bloat, and unless your emails are focused, they won't get the attention of your readers. Simplify your email copy and spend more of your time writing content that relates to the relationship of your customers to your business and make sure to provide a single call to action. Give away your knowledge for free. Customers love it when you share your secrets with them. Too many businesses worry about giving away information. You want to give away as much information as you can as a way to help your customers. Help them by teaching them, and they'll love you more for it. When you start to focus on providing emails that your customers will love, you'll be able to increase your conversions. Make sure that each of the emails that you send counts, and you'll be well ahead of the competition. In this tutorial, I'm going to present five hacks for providing memorable customer service through live chat. There's no question that live chat is getting huge, as more and more businesses add the little widget to their websites. 
There are many different reasons why offering live chat support for your customers is a smart move. Here are five hacks for using live chat to provide memorable customer service. Always introduce yourself. You have to get into the mindset that a customer service interaction isn't a transaction, but rather a conversation. When you introduce yourself to your customer, you make things personal and start to frame the communication as one between two people rather than one between a business and a customer. Be fast. Live chat is a communication channel where speed does matter. Nearly 80% of customers say that they prefer to use live chat because it provides an immediacy, which is by far the most cited reason for using live chat. As for specific times, 60% of customers don't want to wait for more than a minute for a response. The average time for an initial reply is right around 23 seconds. Promise a result. In your initial live chat, even if you can't resolve the customer's issue right away, let the customer know exactly when they can expect to hear back from you. While you can't always provide them with a promised solution by a given time, you can always provide them an update on your progress. When you can deliver on that promise, you are not only keeping the customer informed on the status of their request, but it provides you with another opportunity to build trust. Make access to chat incredibly easy. When a customer is looking for help or asks you a question, then it means you already have a less than perfect experience. Don't make it worse for them by forcing them to figure out how to get in touch. Make it easy for them to get in touch via live chat by placing your chat widget on every page. Use time-saving tricks. There are times when you don't need an entire knowledgeable-based article to answer a common customer question. This is where saved common replies can come in handy. Instead of wasting time typing the same reply time and time again, you can use common responses to common questions that can be inserted with a click. Live chat support provides a massive opportunity for your business to add a powerful and customer-loved communication channel to your customer service strategy. These tips can help you provide better support in real time. 5 Reasons Why Customer Feedback Is Important For Your Business As a small business owner, you do your best to satisfy your customers' needs and keep them happy so that hopefully one day they'll become loyal to your brand. There are plenty of ways that you can leverage the feedback of your customers to make a profit. However, if you're not garnering feedback from your customers, how will you ever know what they want? Here are five reasons why it is essential for your business to gather input from your customers. It improves products and services. When you introduce a new product or service, you probably don't have any idea of what your customers need. The market research that you conduct before you launch a new product can help, but customer feedback provides you with insight into what is working well and what should be done to make it better. Helps measure customer satisfaction. A crucial part of determining your financial performance is customer satisfaction and loyalty. This makes ensuring your customers are happy of the utmost importance. Naturally, the easiest way to find out if your customers' expectations are being met is by getting their opinions. You can use rating-based questions that can estimate the level of customer satisfaction, as well as predicting your future financial conditions. Show you value their opinion. When you ask for your customers' feedback, you communicate to them that their opinion matters. This allows them to help you shape your business, which in turn makes them feel more attached to your company. Listening to the voice of your customers enables you to create a stronger relationship with them. Create a better customer experience. If you focus your energy on providing the best customer experience at every single touch point, your customers will stay loyal to your brand for longer. Naturally, the best way to do this is to ask them what they like about your product or service and what they would like to see improved. Improve customer retention. A satisfied customer will stay with you, while an unhappy customer will find a better alternative. Customer feedback can help you determine if your customers are happy with your service and allow you to detect areas that you need to improve. Regularly asking for the opinion of your customers will help you keep a finger on the pulse. If you want to stay ahead of the competition, then you need to put your customers at the center of your business and treat the feedback they provide you as the most valuable sources of information for your business. In this presentation, I'm going to share with you five strategies for successfully growing your business. It takes a lot these days to run a successful business. To start, you need to have a product that customers want and need, and it has to be appropriately priced. 
However, that's just the beginning. Here are five strategies for growing your business. Be hands-on. If you want to grow your business, then you need to be there all the time and hands-on like a physician. As a business owner, you can't be afraid to dig in and get your hands dirty, which means doing the small tasks. You need to pitch in and straighten up the boxes or pick things up. The little things will get noticed, so attention to detail is critical. Focus on the customer. Making a profit isn't the reason for starting a business. The purpose of business is to create and keep your customers. You want them to come to your business the first time and then continue to come and bring their friends. How your business is doing is directly related to how many satisfied customers you have. If you want to increase customer satisfaction, then you have to listen to what your customers are saying and be involved in their overall buying experience. Be more competitive. Unless you have a monopoly, competition is everything, and differentiating yourself from the competition is the key to selling successfully. If you want to grow your company, you can't be a me too business. You have to find a competitive advantage. If you don't have one, find a way to create one. Mind the money. When you put your business strategy together, you need to focus on sales, cash flow, and revenues, and you need to know how much money is being made every day. You want to focus on your net profit rather than your gross profit. This will provide you with a more realistic view of exactly how your company is doing. Look to idealize your company by thinking about what your perfect business will look like and then figuring out what you need to do to create it. Measure your success. Everyone has a different definition of success. The best way for you to measure your progress is by enjoying what you do. Then you need to hit your numbers consistently to show that you know what you're doing. Finally, you need to love your service or product, as well as your customers. If you do all of this, you can't help but be successful. These tips are essential for growing your business. Owning a business can be challenging, but with these tips and strategies, you can be rewarded for your efforts. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you 8 creative ways you can build your email list and grow your business. Every year, your email marketing database degrades by 22.5%. Your job as a business is to make sure that you continue to add new contacts to your email marketing campaign. Here are 8 creative ways that you can build your email list and continue to grow your business. Create remarkable content. The content you put in your emails needs to be amazing if you want to keep people subscribed and keep them forwarding your content to their network. If you create entertaining enough material, they'll always look forward to getting your emails. Encourage subscribers to share. Always include social sharing buttons in your email so that you can gain access to your subscribers' friends and network to expand your list. At the bottom of your emails, make sure to include a subscribe call to action. Segment by buyer persona. Recipients of your email are more likely to click through when the information caters to their specific interests. By creating multiple targeted types of subscriptions, you'll increase the likeliness that a visitor will subscribe to one of them. Add a link to your signature. Having a hyperlinked email signature can lead customers to a landing page where they can opt in to your mailing list. If you are already having a natural email conversation with them, this can lead them to subscribing to more of your lists. Create a free resource or online tool. Providing free online tools will make your users' lives easier, and all they have to do to get the free tool is to sign up with their email address. Promote an online contest. Use your social media networks to host an online contest in exchange for contact information. Encourage entrants to click through to your website to sign up with their email address. Create a subscriber blog. Blog posts can help you increase your search engine ranking as well as allowing you to collect blog subscribers that you can upgrade later to more actionable email campaigns. Add a call to action button to the top of your Facebook business page. The value of this technique is in the destination. Link the call to action button on your Facebook business page to a landing page that requires the input of an email address to gain access to a unique resource. These are just some of the creative ways you can build your email list. As you grow your email list, you'll be able to nurture these prospective customers with offers that allow you to convert them to paying customers early on in the sales process and eventually grow your business. Effective Hacks for Quickly Validating Your Business Idea In this presentation, I'm going to share with you some useful hacks for quickly validating your business idea. 
Before you invest your time and hard-earned money in a business idea, you need to verify your plan to make sure that it will be successful. You need to do the research necessary to find out if your target audience needs what you're selling. Here are some quick ways that you can validate if your business idea will work. Use smoke tests. An easy way for you to gauge interest in your idea is to run a few necessary tests first. You can do this by placing various ads highlighting your service on social media to see if anyone would be interested. For example, if you want to start a business around hiring pet sitters online, first you can place an ad on Facebook and see if anyone contacts you. This is a relatively cheap and effective way to gain feedback on your business idea. Assess yourself. Rather than focusing on building products that you think are innovative or cool, ask yourself if the product is something that you would use. The easiest way to test the market and validate your business idea is by surveying yourself. Find an industry advisor or mentor. There will always be people who have the expertise and experience that you lack. Take a step and introduce yourself to these people and start to make connections with industry leaders. This will allow you to form valuable relationships in the industry to help you determine where the needs are and how you can successfully address them. Conduct surveys. You can use sites like SurveyMonkey to help you gather feedback on your ideas from your target audience. You can create one quickly and share it on your social media networks, as well as sending it out to professionals, former coworkers, friends, and family through an email blast. This is another good way to gauge interests, needs, and gaps in specific industries. If you want to start a successful business, then you must take steps to validate that it is a viable idea. These four easy ways to verify an idea can quickly tell you whether or not your plan is feasible. Don't waste your time and money on a business idea that won't be able to get off the ground. In this presentation, I'm going to show you how you can use influencer marketing to grow your business. The strategy of leveraging someone else's database, celebrity, or reach to grow your business isn't a new concept. However, with social media, the game has changed. Influencer marketing has become a game changer in the world of business. Here are some ways that you can utilize this new way of reaching a broader audience to grow your business. Create an influencer marketing goal. While the goal of influencer marketing is pretty apparent, getting your business in front of more people, you need to have a clear idea of how you want it to convert to results for your business. Are you looking to create greater brand awareness? Do you hope to increase your lead generation? Your desired results will dictate how you proceed in establishing a relationship with each influencer. Know your target audience. This step is essential for any form of marketing you do. You need to know exactly who you are solving a problem for or serving a need for and where you can find these people. There are individual companies that will do better by focusing their social media campaign on Facebook or Instagram because this is where their target audience is found. Who you are serving and where you can find them will determine which influencers you'll utilize. Identify relevant influencers. The best influence marketers are those who are already in front of your target audience. If you produce toys and games, then you want to target individuals who have audiences that listen to their opinions and reviews. The key is finding influencers who have sway over their audience, whose fan base listen to and take action based on their recommendations. Start seeking out influencers by utilizing alerts and notifications to find people who are talking about the topics that are aligned with your business. Determine your strategy. Influencer marketing is about creating advocates for your business. This makes it essential to establish a mutually beneficial relationship with the influencers. You need to determine how you can strengthen the status of someone who is promoting your company. Can you provide them with relevant and reliable information that can't be found elsewhere? Can you create a joint product to bring something to the table that the influencer doesn't already have? Finding something that will make this a mutually beneficial arrangement will be a good investment for your business. A viable way to grow your business is by leveraging the databases and audiences of online influencers. Use these simple tips to create a clear strategy to build a win-win relationship with an influencer and watch your audience grow. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you the most important KPIs to know to grow your business. Building your business should be the primary object of every stakeholder, manager, and employee in your business. It is imperative that you continually measure your progress against the goals that you've set if you want to grow a successful business. If you're going to achieve the desired outcome, then you need to accurately measure the areas of your business that are relevant to what you are striving to achieve. 
Here are the essential KPIs that you need to know if you want to grow your business. Net Profit Your business profits are the portion of revenue that is left after all your expenses have been paid. Your profit is the primary reason for starting a business in the first place. The profitability of your organization is a critical KPI that you should frequently be measuring. Expenses A huge factor in determining your profitability is your expenses. Active business owners will measure their expense categories very carefully because controlling your business expenses always has a substantial impact on the growth potential of your organization as well as its profitability. Revenues and Revenue Growth Rate There are a lot of revenue subcategories, and in many organizations, they are merely referred to as sales. However, a critical subcategory that business owners often overlook is the revenue growth rate, which calculates the revenue growth over a certain period. The revenue growth rate is a much broader indicator of how your business is growing. Accounts Receivables if you offer credit terms to your customers, you need to make sure to keep all receivables current to minimize your risk. You can't allow your organization to become a bank for customers who are always slow with paying their invoices. You need to keep an eye on this KPI and make sure your customer accounts are kept current. Profit per customer A competent business owner knows how much profit each customer is generating for the business. Knowing your profit per customer KPI, especially for your most important and more significant customers, is vital. Market Share Knowing exactly where your business ranks in the broader marketplace can be a challenge to quantify accurately. However, this information is essential for you to stay competitive. You can use this information to help you compare and benchmark your overall performance against the data that is publicly available. Every business is different and will measure different KPIs that are vital to their growth. Keeping close track of the most relevant KPIs for your business can help you grow your business and increase profitability. Top 5 Reasons Why You Should Utilize Facebook Ads For Your Business It can be a daunting task to determine when, where, and how you should advertise your business. With Google Ads providing effective and profitable search ad campaigns, Many companies ignore the value of other advertising channels, including Facebook, which means you are missing out on a massive opportunity for your business. Here are five reasons why you need to start advertising on Facebook. Spend around $1 a day and get results. The minimum spend required by Facebook is a dollar. However, even with this tiny budget, you can reach upwards of a thousand or more people that meet your specific criteria. Facebook has multiple bid types available that make it possible for you to choose the most appropriate structure for your particular campaign objectives. With so many different options and budgets, you can choose the right campaign for your business. Facebook has great targeting options. Unlike Google Ads, ads on Facebook are targeted to the audience's demographics and interests, not what they're searching for. The refinement available to your business when you set up your target audience requirements is extremely impressive. With so many targeting options available, you can ensure that your money is only spent on the most relevant audience. Facebook has a massive audience. With an estimated 1.28 billion users worldwide and over 800 active daily users, you can guarantee that a good percentage of your target audience will be on Facebook. With Facebook's sophisticated targeting options, you can make sure that your ad campaign is seen by your target audience. Easily track your ROI, performance, and spend. Whatever you spend advertising on Facebook, the most important thing is knowing exactly what you're getting out of the campaign. It can be difficult to measure ROI for the time and resources you invested. But with Facebook advertising, you can clearly see how much you've spent and the results that spend has provided. It is essential that you spend the time to analyze your advertising performance and experiment with different ads to see what works best for your business. Gain an advantage over the competition. Not many businesses are utilizing Facebook ads, even with how powerful the platform is. This means that by advertising on Facebook, you can gain a distinct advantage over your competition and increase your opportunities to win business that you might not otherwise have found. When you can get people's attention and increase awareness about your business, you can effectively grow your business. If you aren't already advertising on Facebook, the reasons above should be enough to get you started.